Let's talk about Texas football. The Longhorns are coming off of a highly disappointing 8-5 season in which they were one of only two teams ranked in the preseason top 10 not to finish as the top 10 team. The other school, 9-4 Michigan, and their coach is on the hot seat. Texas's disappointing season that started with Big 12 championship and college football playoff hopes ended with it losing three of its last six games and narrowly sneaking into the top 25. The pressure on Tom Herman is way up, and he fired or reassigned over half of his coaching staff as a result. But he's brought in two coordinators with excellent resumes with New Year's Six and college football playoff experience. Today, we're going to talk about offensive coordinator Mike Yurchich and how his systems will fit in Austin. He doesn't have the innovation of LSU's Joe Brady or the potential and creativity of USC's Graham Harrell. But what he does have is something Texas's offense desperately needs, consistency. Yurchich is an experienced offensive coordinator fresh off his first college football playoff experience with Ohio State. He served as Ohio State's pass game coordinator and quarterbacks coach, where he mentored Justin Fields. Before that, he spent six years at Oklahoma State with Mike Gundy's gunslinging offense, where he had four 10-win seasons and appeared in two New Year's Six Bowls. As Oklahoma State's offensive coordinator, he developed J.W. Walsh and Mason Rudolph, two fantastic system quarterbacks. So let's take a look into Yurchich's quarterback-friendly passing offense. For 31 yards, and we go back and forth. Fourth possession, fourth touchdown. <laughs> Yurchich runs a simple offense, very quarterback friendly with quick one and two read passing plays. In terms of play design, it's pretty similar to the plays Tom Herman uses at Texas now, but without the slow developing sprint out and throwback plays. Yurchich's offense is fast, up tempo, and vertical. If you're using three high safeties, he'll attack the seams. If your linebackers are cheating up, he uses run pass options to hit receivers on the second level. This is a coach who uses an analytically efficient spread offense using one and two tight end packages almost exclusively. Most of his offense uses open formations where the tight end lines up as a wideout, not to mention plenty of motion and fakes and misdirections while still using fast developing plays. Here, out of a split back set, we see the receiver at the top of the screen come across on a jet motion. The entire offensive line zone blocks to the right for a quarterback keep with the tight end leading, but it ends up being a pop pass to the receiver on the motion. The running back lead blocks and the receiver walks into the end zone. Here, Oklahoma State is in a heavy package against Baylor with multiple tight ends on the field. Despite being in the jumbo set, they spread the defense out and connect on a quick comeback route on the left side after the quarterback identifies man-to-man -man coverage. This quick pass is an easy read for the quarterback. The Baylor defense has to play with an eight-man box to cover for the threat of a run that comes with a jumbo package like this. This is the exact kind of advantage Yurchich's passing attack looks to create. Yurchich's offense isn't complicated. The only drawback to his simplicity is the predictability that can come along with it, which is something that plagued Tom Herman's offense down the stretch of the 2019 season. When defenses were able to hone in and take away the first two reads, the offense struggled. Here, Yurchich calls a 5-yard stick route on 2nd and 14 to try to set up 3rd and manageable. The quarterback reads zone coverage because of how far off the defenders are playing, so he knows the inside slot receiver will be sitting in the soft spot of that zone. But it looks like Ole Miss did its film study, and the safety quickly breaks on the route and breaks up the pass. Dobbins, in the clear! Off to the races! Can they run him down? They cannot! Touchdown, Ohio State! As far as running the ball goes, Yurchich is inheriting a pretty good situation in Texas. The Longhorns are returning three starters on their offensive line, including all big left tackle Sam Cosme and a backup tackle with starting experience. Texas did have some struggles this year in run blocking and pass protection, but the simple fact is that this is an offensive line that has radically improved from Herman's first season at Texas. This past season was the first year under Herman that the team had multiple runs over 50 yards, and with a star-studded backfield containing two-year starter Keontae Ingram and converted quarterback Roshan Johnson, you can only see the run game improving. Again, Yurchich's run schemes are pretty similar to Texas's playing style already. And now that he'll be inheriting the most talented backfield he's had as a play caller, he's going to have a chance to do something special. Here, Texas runs an inside zone split play that looks to attack the right C gap with the tight end on the right moving to the left to clean up any free defenders on the weak side. And here, Oklahoma State runs a similar inside zone play. It doesn't end up yielding any positive results because the left guard who was supposed to move up to the second level gets stuck and allows a free linebacker to make the tackle for no gain. 
but you can see the similarities in play design. Jurchich never had a fully developed, game-changing electric running back with the Cowboys. The best he ever had was a young Chuba Hubbard or maybe a Chris Carson. Nonetheless, he's a coach who schemes the run pretty well. He uses mostly zone and man blocking schemes with occasional power runs designed to give backs cutback lanes, and he'll occasionally flex in his tight ends and H-backs for more power designed run plays. But his bread and butter is his off-tackle zone run out of pistol formations. Here, the running back simply reads the block of the edge blockers. If they manage to hook the edge defenders, the running back bounces outside. If they push the ends into the boundary, the running back cuts back inside. He had a couple of really great quarterback run plays and packages using J.W. Walsh at Oklahoma State, although Ohio State rarely ran with Justin Fields. Here, Oklahoma State uses a nice quarterback draw play, where the quarterback runs up the middle after faking a swing motion to the right side. The right guard pulls to clean up the unblocked defender off the edge, and the tight end lead blocks up the middle. With the experienced tackles Yurchich is inheriting at Texas in Sam Cosme and Denzel Okafor, and an experienced tight end in Cade Brewer. Texas might finally be able to get over its hump of the trenches and consistently run the ball effectively. It's Hubbard. Good second effort, and he's in for the score. This is a big year for Texas. For one, it's Sam Ellinger's senior season, and if he wants to be remembered as the quarterback who officially brought Texas back, he will need considerably more help from the coaching staff than he received last season. With Yurchich, we're going to find out if Texas is really as promising as we think it is, if it has enough talent to offset a still predictable offense, and how much meddling the self-proclaimed offensive mastermind Tom Herman will do in Yurchich's weekly game plan and fresh playbook. All in all, Yurchich is a good hire for Texas, and he brings a fresh set of eyes and ideas that Herman is comfortable enough with. He's joining a coaching staff with experience in the college football playoff and national championship games, and a team just a little bit of consistency away from competing on a national stage. Assuming Yurchich is given full control of the offense this year, and is able to find some form of steadiness, and with the defense returning 8 starters, 2020 could be the start of an era that brings Texas back for good.